When, when I first came to Malaysia, it was 1981, with Sadao Watanabe, who's a saxophone player from Japan. I met him in New York, I played with him in New York, and he invited me on a tour in Japan in 1981. And then, uh, you know, throughout those years, I worked with him different times. Uh, and uh, he invited me to Malaysia in 1989. That was the first time I came to Malaysia. And uh, I was quite surprised because I didn't know you have even a jazz here at that time. In 1989, there was a club called the River Riverbank, and uh, it was by the by the uh, uh, KL Central there. K no, KL Central. I'm sorry, Central Market. Central Market. Yeah, by the river there. Anyway, the Louis Bukasam was playing, and uh, I think Michael Varapan was in the band. It was a, it was an Asia beat, and. Uh, I was quite, I enjoyed going to the club and jamming that night. That was the first time, first week I came to Malaysia. And then, uh, of course, when I came, uh, after that I came back again. I met Sheila Majid and uh, I came and did a tour with her in 1991. And also uh, with, uh, with Louis Bogassam in 1991, we drum music CD we did in Singapore and, uh, and KL. I mean, after that, you know, I almost every year between 1991, 1997, I was coming to Malaysia almost every year. Yeah. So, but before I came to Malaysia, I also was recording with Tanya Maria, uh, David Sanborn, Miles Davis, um, Mariah Carey, Michael Jackson, so, but, you know, they're not all jazz, but, uh, you know, Tracy Chapman. But I was doing a lot of music in New York, a lot of different types of music. But the one thing about jazz is that when you play jazz, number one, you play everywhere in the world. Doesn't matter what language they speak, uh, because, you know, it, jazz most of the time is instrumental. Just the horn or the saxophone would do the speaking. And, you know, you come off stage and a lot of time you don't know what to say to the audience but they love the music they love jazz so jazz is a music that people all over the world can understand you know uh, even more than english music uh, so another thing about jazz it's uh, when you listen to a jazz song or jazz concert you're always going to hear the musicians play a solo. You're gonna hear them solo improvise. When you play your solo, you improvise over the chords or over the melody like that. So jazz is a very unique for musicians being able to uh, improvise. You know, you, you sometimes have it in rock music too, where musicians can improvise. Or soul music, you know, uh, people can improvise. but Jazz is most important for being able to improvise with the, now with the technology. You know, throughout the years, music is always, uh, technology has been a very important part of the music for many years. You know, like for instance, when I was a kid, we used to listen to records on a record player, like 45s, 78s. And then we had uh, whole albums that we listened to. This was because the technology at that time, you go in the studio and you record, and then you know, most of the time with musicians, and then uh, you, you, you go and buy a record, you know, you buy the album. Then it came with a time you buy CDs. Then it came with time you buy uh, uh, cassettes. Then it, now there's no more CDs, there's no more cassettes. The platform now is digital. Everything is digital. But uh, there's nothing bad about that because time is going to change and you can't stop the technology. There's no way to stop technology. Number one, now with the digital, the sound quality is a lot better. You know? So, and not only that, but with technology now, with the internet, you can communicate with people. You know, to, today, this morning, I'm talking to my friend on New York. You know, we're using WhatsApp, video call, and it's, it's an internet call I don't pay. 
You know, when I first come here, man, I had to pay a lot of money to call New York. Now, with a digital format, it, 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 no. Now, that's because technology is like that. But, you know, the great thing about it is I can still be in contact with my friends daily and let them know what I'm doing here and how I'm doing here. And uh, musicians as well. And I can see what they're doing. I can see it on YouTube. I can see it on Instagram. I can see it on Facebook. I can see what, uh, what's going on all over the world. Uh, not, only, not only music, but news, you know. Uh, you know, there's so many things now that technology is very important for. You know, my daughter teaches in Jakarta. She teaches English. Yesterday, they had an earthquake. Right away, instantly, I know about it because my daughter called me and told me she's okay and everything like that. You know what I mean? So the technology is very important to, to be able to see what's going on and also be able to share your music, share your life, whatever you're doing. Whatever we're doing here in Malaysia, we can share it all over the world. Very easy now.